I guess in this video I am going to discuss about how to create index on table uh, by using and here I am using Azure Data Studio. So in my last video there I discussed about how to or drop a specific column from the table. So and here let's remove that one. First I am going to also you the table that I am going to use. So and here I am going to use the table or DPT. So let's check the content inside. A DPT table. So select a star from and here give the table name DPT. Now here let's execute that. So add here I'm going to create the index on DPT number. So for this I need to write add here create. So if you write add here create you can find create database create list table temp or table. So let's select add here create index. Press enter. So here this is the automatically one query that is generated. So it will create the uh, at your index like cluster or unique. Now here you need to uh, give a uh, meaningful or uh, table name. So table name that is so uh, uh, DPT and your database that is selected Adam here. So let's give at here the table name. So table name that I'm going to use or uh, DEPT. DPT and here database going to use Adam. Adam. Now here after the next thing is we need to close this one and here we need to give the column name. So column name that to essential. So I'm going to apply index on DPT number. DPT number. So add here going to create the index. Now here after, uh, so this is the opening bracket and here we need to mention closing bracket. So add here create index. Now here after execute this query. So add here command completed successfully. Now we need to check the index. Okay, so for this we need to write add here exec. EXEC and here SP underscore help and here you can find help index. So uh, this will describe uh, at here which or uh, table or uh, this will describe uh, the index of the table. So at here going to use DPT table. That here, let's close by semicolon and execute this query. So, at here, there is the one index name, at here, it's created ix index name, and here, null cluster uh, located, and here, this is the index key dpt number. So, I created index on dpt number, that's why it's displaying. So, this is the simplest way we can create the index. So, here you can uh, change the or uh, index name so add here this is the index name so you can give add here any meaningful now here after let's uh, right click here and here click on a script as create so here you can find to create non cluster index so this is the name and here so add here create table dpt number this three columns primary key and here this is the create after Applying this, there is the one index created non cluster index. So, this is on DPT at your DPT table and your applied index on DPT number. Now, here after the next thing is so let's remove this part. Now, here after I'm going to also you one thing that let's select at here or countries. Okay, countries and here create. So there is a, no any index there on countries. So let's uh, add here. Uh, first I'm going to take the content and uh, select a star from countries. Now execute this one. So here I'm going to create the uh, index on reason ID. So add here again write create index. So uh, this time 
So this time there I'm going to use the table contents. Now here auto we need to give the column name. So column name that is reason ID. Reason underscore ID. This is the column name and your database name. So database name that is the item. Now here after let's so give add here meaningful index name so that is by default ix so I'm going to write add here or country underscore index so by using oh, this name there oh, country index so this with this name they're going to create one index now here after let's uh, close that one and execute this query. So add here there is the uh, one index created with the name country index. Now here after right click and here a script as create. So here you can find previously uh, this was there. Now after applying the index, so add here this is the index created non cluster and here this is on reason id the table name countries here so add here the country name as your country index this is the index name so this is the simplest way we can create the index on azure data studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you